and welcome along and welcome back to Meadowgrove. Uh, today, as discussed at the end of the last episode, what we're doing is uh, is we've got our sprayer on the back here. We've purchased a sprayer. This was about, I think, how much was this? Let's have a quick look. So our sprayer, this was 35,000, uh, the sprayer we bought. Uh, and, uh, and as you can see, we have a huge amount of weeds in our field. So what we've actually got with the sprayer today is that we're doing both, uh, we're going to be doing both fertilizing and weeding with the sprayer. Uh, we're going to do the uh, weeding first. We're going to get the herbicide stuff done first. Uh, we need to lift this out of the crop as soon as it's come out. Nice thing about this sprayer is it's quite a wide one. Uh, in comparison to the coon, I think it's slightly wider. Holds about as much, so uh, it's good from that point of view. And as you can see, uh, we can nicely get all of our weeds really, really quickly. So this is, uh, I think both of these jobs is not going to take us very long. This is quite a lot of weeds we had to grow overnight uh, in this field. Uh, massive amount of weeds we had grow overnight here. I'm absolutely amazed by uh, by it, uh, which is fine. Uh, I'm glad we didn't buy a weeder at the end of the last episode and find ourselves in a position where uh, where we suddenly had to deal with uh, that and uh, and the fact that our weeder was uh, was no longer usable. Right, let's that's right. So it's feel we're gonna have to yeah we're gonna have to I think go not quite to the edge like that next time it's a bit difficult to actually get the uh, get the wits and everything right with this but it should be fine so we're uh, we're doing the weeds let's just do that because that will be uh, quite good for us like those two Right, and uh, and so what we're going to do this time, we're going to try and stop about a, well, it's not quite a wit's worth. It should be good enough for us to waste a lot less of our herbicide. Not that we have a huge issue with that. I mean, we're, we're in a position, really, where uh, we're going to have more herbicide left over. Oh, we don't want cause play. Uh, more herbicide left over than we're, uh, than not. I think we're going to be we probably use about 40% of our herbicide in here, uh, which will be good for us. That'll be absolutely fine. We can actually then probably find ourselves a herbicide contract and uh, and see if we could uh, earn the money back that we spent on purchasing the herbicide in the first place. Uh, that would be quite cool. Uh, I'm not holding out too much hope for that, though. It looks like the field next to us, field three, has been cultivated and uh, and maybe even seeded, uh, which is uh, which would be useful for us. I'm keeping a very close eye on that field. That field is worth a hundred and twenty-five thousand, I think it is, but it would be an absolutely great field for us to get. Uh, once I finish this, actually, I want to go over the fields uh, with you guys that we're looking at uh, that we're, we're, we're gonna try and get our hands on because uh, there are there's about there's two or three fields which are basically looked at and gone that would be uh, absolutely perfect for us to uh, to get our hands on so we'll uh, we'll see about that in a bit let's start this up again so that we can go down here and get this width uh, but yeah, there's there's sort of two or three fields that will be absolutely perfect for us on our, on this map for us to expand into, uh, and just try and get that that sweet spot. I've discovered with FS19. Oh, we want to get the full width of those. Uh, I've discovered with FS19 that that once you get yourself into about three or four fields, you get yourself into a position where you just start making money. Uh, and you start making money in a way that then gets you, uh, that then makes it easier and easier to make money in the game. So that's what we're aiming for at the moment, and that's why we're looking at getting more fields, uh, because that is going to be uh, that 
we want to reach that sweet spot as quickly as we can. There we go. And so that's why I haven't spent money on things like uh, plows and line spreader and things like that. Because if we can get the extra field, uh, we'll then be in a position where we can afford all of that stuff. Whereas if we spend the money on that first, uh, we'll get ourselves in a position where where we can't, where we uh, where we immediately have this issue that we've got all the equipment and only a very small amount of land to do it in. Much much better to get the land and then work on the equipment. I you know getting the equipment after that. Right, so we're going to unload this in our sheds here. Get out of here, birds. I've never heard that before. I don't know. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> uh, right, we're going to go and uh, unload this in the shed. So we've got a shed down around the back here. I think it's going to be a great place for us to keep bits like this. And again, yeah, you can see field three accessible through this yard. So absolutely a great place for us to, uh, a great field for us to grab because it's right in the middle of our arable, uh, the arable side of our operation. Right, so that is that unloaded. What I'm going to do is pop down to here. Right, we're back down, uh, we're back down the shop here now with our fence, uh, and, uh, we've got a little issue in that I can't really take this, uh, back up on the pallet forks up to our yard. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a nice little bit of kit. Uh, it's from the Horsch DLC, uh, so our best way of finding it is probably actually under the Horsch thing here, because I'm not exactly sure where it's listed. And that is, where are you? H, H, H. There we go, Horsch. Uh, and that is, I want to get this little overloader. So this overloader takes 8,000 litres. Um, it comes on a little uh, shuttle trailer. So we're actually going to use the shuttle trailer. I'm not a huge fan of them, but uh, it should do the job quite nicely. Uh, and this takes, uh, yeah, so this takes herbicide and liquids. Uh, so this is 16,200, so we do not have enough money for that. So we do have enough money uh, still that we can borrow. So we'll borrow 15,000, which is going to give us just enough to do this. Uh, back into here, into Horsch. And there we go. So we're going to buy that for 16,200. Leaves us with 794. Uh, so we are going to have to borrow some more money further on. But uh, we can now use our little fence here to transfer this back. So if we reverse this up, it should connect up. I think, yeah, connects up pretty well to this. We just need to pull it up alongside of our fertilizer tank here. And so we can, this is a great way for us to transport liquids about. There we go. And filling up our trailer. That should work really, really well. Right, there we go. I'm, uh, I'm very much liking the look of this. This is, uh, yeah, this is going to be a great little tank to get this stuff back with. So let's head back up to our shed, uh, and uh, and then we can use this to sort our fertilizer out with our tractor, which will be uh, which will be brilliant. I will see you back up there. There we are, back at the yard. Now, if there's one thing I've learnt with this little tank is that this tractor does not have enough power to pull it up that hill. Uh, it went up that hill at about four miles an hour. Uh, it's, yeah, it really, really doesn't. What we're going to do now is we're just going to park this here. 
and load this up. So this tank is gonna this tank is gonna be useful for us to uh, to sort of keep our sprayer going and things. It's not something that's um, yeah, really just to keep us going over several fields. Did not mean to press that button. Meant to press that one to load it up. Okay, so we're full. Let's head off back down to the field and uh, and get it sprayed. And that will be uh, that'll be really good. So that'll be two jobs well done. Hopefully, we'll be able to see the spray on this. Let's uh, close up our gate. Do kind of wish that gate opened the other way. That is probably my only issue with that. It really, really gets in your way when you're trying to do the field. Right. So same thing again. We know roughly where we are. We should be able to see the ground darken uh, while we're doing this. So yeah. Definite change in uh, ground colour, uh, which is good, so we can tell where we've been. And so a little bit deja vu now, in that you know we've already uh, done this uh, done this run. But I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. This is uh, this is a great sprayer for us. So we're down to seven hundred and ninety-four pounds. Now I know absolutely that is not going to make it through the night. Uh, we're gonna. Well, I think we have uh, various costs and things overnight that that we have to do for upkeep. So, uh, yeah, that is not going to make it through the night. And so we are going to have to do some uh, some contracts to just generally get us through. Uh, we're also going to have to do some work with our cows uh, before this game day is out. And looking at this, we have rain on the way as well. So I think we'll save the cow work for when it's raining. Uh, you know, uh, getting them a bit more feed and things. I think once the uh, once the rain hits, uh, that is going to be our best bet as far as that goes. Before then, I really, really want to see if we can get a, uh, a contract or two in. Uh, especially a harvesting contract. A harvesting contract is always worth more money. And quite often, especially on these small fields, a harvesting contract is worth more to us than, uh, or the excess crop from a harvesting contract is worth more to us than the actual contract. So that's why I'm always trying to keep on the lookout for a harvesting contract. It also keeps us doing harvesting stuff, you know, keeps us uh, doing stuff with uh, one of our biggest pieces of machinery that is also one of our most expensive. Really, really don't want to have it uh, where we're not using that, where we're not, where we've not got that in use, because that just means that we have a whole hunk of money sitting there that uh, that is unused, um, as opposed to things like the our tractors, which are under constant use. We want to keep the uh, the harvester as much under use as possible as well. Um, especially where we're not affected by things like seasons. When it comes to seasons uh, in FS19, I really don't know whether I'm going to own a harvester or rent it. I think that will all depend on how many fields I have um, and how much I think I can make off my crops. Yeah, there we go. That should cover it like so. I want to try and line up with the edge here. Quite difficult. Especially when it's further grown. Or has grown much higher. To actually tell uh, where we've been. But again. We've got, we've got machinery that will handle these fields well. But that isn't ridiculously big for this map. That, that's, we seem to have hit this happy medium sort of sweet spot. With our uh, with our equipment so far, but this this will just get this job done really quickly. This breath, and we do we have a little bit left over on the side, and uh, and yeah, there we are. That has got it. So both weeded and first stage of fertilizer uh, are definitely worth purchasing a good sprayer on this map 
and, uh, and we've got enough left over for when we get a second field going. Now where's our little bit? There's our little bit in the corner. So just get that covered. There we are. Perfect. So stop that. Fold it up. There we are. And we'll head back to the entrance of the field. And that is uh, is our job done for today. I'm really pleased with that. That's that's forwarded this a lot. Uh, we are, as I said, we are going to go search for contract next time, I think, unless the rain sets in. Uh, for now, though, I'm happy with where we are. So, uh, really, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time. Goodbye.